Ah, come on. Even if you don't like Star Wars, that was a pretty cool intro, right? Drop a like on the video, please. It took me ages to make that. But anyway, Man United are close to returning. The Premier League is close to returning. A month since that 5-0 win away at Lask, we're about to see United back in action. And over on Twitter, I asked you guys, what were you most excited about seeing returning? So what I'm going to do in this video is just run through a list of those reasons. Because there are plenty of reasons to be excited about what comes next for Manchester United. And obviously, the first one that all of you mentioned, that I've already done a video on, Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba finally lining up alongside each other in midfield. It's clearly the reason, I think, to be most excited about what's next for United and what can be different that wasn't there before. And Bruno Fernandes' form when he arrived was utterly sensational. Nobody could have expected him to do that week in, week out. Maybe an individual performance, but... He not only settled, but he brought everybody else up around him and dropped Paul Popper alongside him. And if Paul Popper can find the sort of form that he had in those three months, as I said in the previous video, that he had in those first few months under Solskjaer, and those two play alongside each other and complement each other well, United will have one of the best midfields in the Premier League, without doubt. They're both individually sensational players, but if they can cohesively work as a team, this United midfield will be taken up to another completely new level. And for me, it's definitely the main reason I'm excited about seeing it back because Bruno's played so well, but he hasn't yet played with Pogba. How will he play alongside him? It's exciting to think. And another player that Bruno hasn't played alongside, another big reason I'm excited about, this little delay that's happened, I say little delay, major delay with the coronavirus, but Marcus Rashford is now gonna be fit to return to action for United. And Rashford has had an absolutely fantastic season. His best season, I would probably say, in a United shirt, and certainly his best season since his breakthrough season under Louis van Gaal. In those years in between, he struggled to live up to those expectations and struggled to really develop himself. But this year, prior to his injury, he was just the main man, scoring goals left, right and centre, helping the other players improve around him and bringing Rashford into this team. Look at Anthony Martial and the improvement, the significant improvement that he showed after playing with Bruno Fernandes. Could we see the same thing with Rashford? Because Rashford makes the sort of runs that any number 10 would want from his striker. He's always running in behind, but so often we haven't had the player there capable of seeing those passes and of being able to pull them off. And the same goes for Paul Pogba. So both of them will be looking for the runs of Rashford and Martial. It's just such a dynamic front four. Now you've got the quality of Fernandes and Pogba behind them. Expect, I think, Rashford's game to go up another level. And I know it's gone up majorly this season, but I think it's going to go up yet again. And for me, that's a major reason. And you think it as well, major reason to be excited about United and what's next. And in terms of what's left this season, United have got plenty of goals that Solskjaer will want his team to achieve. We're in the round of 16 of the Europa League, but we pumped at last 5-0 away in the first leg. So you can pretty much say we've got one foot in the door of the quarterfinals. Winning the Europa League will guarantee a place in the Champions League next year, as would obviously finishing maybe in the top five, depending sorry, on Man City and their ban from all UEFA competitions for two years. But the Europa League, a big reason to be excited. We're still in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We've got a game against Norwich coming up. And then we're fifth in the league. And if you look at the form that United had prior to the coronavirus stopping the Premier League, we're one of the best. Can we continue that form? If we do continue that form, can you add Pogba and Rashford on top of that? We could be even better. Just United cohesively coming together as a team. The new signings have had a little bit more time to settle now. Everybody's had more time to settle. Rashford's had time to come back. Pogba's had time to come back. I hope that Fernandes can continue that sort of blistering form he showed at the start. But add all those things together. Add them into the fact that we're still in two cup competitions and we've still got the opportunity of a top four finish. There's plenty that we can still achieve this season and something that a few of you pointed out for the FA Cup games as well, more importantly, maybe it's a chance to see some of those younger kids come through and get their own opportunities. Obviously Mason Greenwood and Brandon Williams are the two standout players who have really broken through and established themselves as first team squad players this year. Then you've got Ethan Laird underneath them, Angel Gomez, maybe Tahith Chongu, but I think he needs a bit of a loan spell away, if I'm being honest. Solskjaer's given 
plenty of youngsters not only just the opportunity to prove themselves, but the opportunity to establish themselves. And that's why Greenwood has helped to replace the goals that Lukaku left with. And we aren't missing Alexis Sanchez at all. Brandon Williams showing that he's got the quality maybe to be our long-term left back and certainly has helped Shaw to improve because the competition's there as well. I think Solskjaer's done a great job with the crop of kids coming through in the FA Cup. And that game against Norwich and the rest of that competition might be the opportunity that we can give those minutes and the opportunities to those youngsters. But I, th I would say they're probably the main reasons I'm excited. Certainly to see what Bruno and Popper can do together. That's got to be the most exciting reason about what could be next, this new hope. I know I'm running with the Star Wars puns. I don't really, really like Star Wars that much, but it felt right. It is the return of Manchester United, and it is a new hope because I don't think, you know, after an international break, you're, just, you're gagging for football, no matter how bad the form of, your, of United is before it. But it, it feels like there's a justification for the excitement this time. Obviously, because it's been gone for so long, it's going to make everybody want it back that much more. But with the quality of the football that we saw prior to the coronavirus stopping football, there's a real justification for this new hope. And if we can refine that sort of form, put Popper into it, he can find his feet again, put Rashford back into it, he can refine that sort of scoring form that made him unstoppable at points this season, then this team really can come together. I think Harry Maguire is going to continue getting better at the back. Wan Bissaka, fantastic at right back. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came through a real rough patch towards the December time. And I said at the time, and I sort of, you know, I'm still going to stand by my points. That maybe Pochettino and United laying plans there for the future with Pochettino there would have been a smart decision. But United have stuck by Solskjaer and have stuck by him the whole way through. And now that we've got this team with Fernandez in and with Popper coming back and Rashford coming back, there's plenty of reason to be excited. It's been a few months, you know, I'm not personally looking forward to seeing games in front of empty stadiums because there is no atmosphere. It's cack to watch. It feels like a bit of a pre-season friendly, but I'm looking forward to seeing what this United team can do. And if we can continue that sort of form that made us so sensational prior to the coronavirus in those since Fernandez arrived, basically. But what can happen next? Let's see. I'm excited about it. So are you. Plenty of you replied on Twitter. Thank you very much for that. It took me ages to make that thumbnail and the intro. So please drop a like on the video, guys. Come on. Even if you don't like Star Wars. Are there any other videos you'd like me to do? It sounds like the Premier League might be back as early as the 8th of June. It sounds like at some point in June, we will get to see United play against Spurs and Mourinho at their new stadium. That's going to be the return for Manchester United. There is a new hope, I think, and I've based it on the reasons I've said in this video. Are there any other reasons you're excited about seeing United and what comes next? Let me know in the comments on this video. Drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. Until next time, though, take it easy.